Hey loves, it's Sade and today I am coming to you doing the mommy tag. Um, as you guys know, I'm part of the Real Women of YouTube and a lot of the moms were going to do this so I thought it would be pretty cool to do um, since you guys know I have kids and just to give you some more insight on my life with the kids. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. The first question is, how many children do you have and how old are they? I have two kids. I have a son named Jason Love. He is my oldest. He is my baby. He's four years old. Um, just started pre-K, so I'm so excited and so proud of him. And then I also have a almost nine month old. She'll be nine months uh, on the fifth of this month. And she is my diva. She is my prissy little princess. And I love her two pieces, Tiana Ariel. And oh my gosh, I absolutely adore my kids. They're the best in the world. And I may be a little biased, but that's what I believe. The second question is, what is your proudest moment as a mom of your children? My proudest moment for Jason is seeing him play baseball. I absolutely love it. Um, he just finished his second season um, of baseball and he did so good. And um, this year they weren't hitting off the tee. They were actually, it was, you know, pitch baseball. Um, and he did so good. I was so proud of him. Just seeing him accomplish something that he's worked toward is is a great mommy moment for me. It makes me so proud. It makes my husband proud. And we love seeing him accomplish whatever he sets his mind to. And with Tiana, she's still a baby, but she hits her milestones like that. Like, I swear that little girl has been here before. She is smart. She picks up on the littlest things. And I can just see her really excelling in anything she puts her mind to as well. The third question is, what is the most frustrating moment as a mom? My most frustrating moment is when Jason does not listen to me or if he's mouthing off or being disrespectful it can be so irritating and frustrating and I just have to breathe and count to 10 and just get on with the rest of my day but um, with Tiana I really don't get too frustrated with her because she's still a baby but you know having kids is it's frustrating but you know you just you just learn to adapt you learn to get through it and you have to have a lot of patience Question number four is how do you discipline your children? Um, of course, Tiana doesn't get disciplined because she's a baby. We tell her no and we'll like move her hand or act like we're popping her hand if she's like messing with something that could hurt her. But um, as far as Jason, it depends on what he does. A lot of times we can just verbally correct him or put him in a timeout or take away like something he likes to do like play on the tablet, get on the computer, watch his favorite movies. But if he does something really, really bad, that we've repeatedly told him not to do, he does get spanked. And there is a difference between beating your child and spanking your child and Jason gets spanked. Uh, the fifth question is cursing. Do you do it in front of your children? Yes. Uh, Brian's a lot better at not cussing in front of the kids. Uh, but we both try our hardest not to cuss in front of the kids. I get it honestly. My father's a truck driver. My husband was a Navy sailor, so sometimes some words slip. Uh, I just have a potty mouth from time to time. But now that Jason likes to mimic everything I say, I really have to be careful what I say. So I've really been watching my mouth around him lately. Uh, question number six, your favorite place to take your children? I love taking them to the park. Um, Jason loves to run around. He's a big ball of energy. So after school, you know, once Brian gets home from work, we all head to the park so he can run and play. And jump and just get out all that pent up energy and Tiana likes being out there too because she loves watching Jason play and she likes just being in the sun. Tiana loves being in the heat. It's the weirdest thing. Uh, question number seven is what's your least favorite place to take your children? I would say my least favorite place is any like child's place like Chuck E. Cheese, um, Mr. Gaddy's or anything that has like like games and stuff because when we leave Jason throws a fit and it's so embarrassing and it makes me so mad and he gets his butt spanked but I hate I hate taking them to places like that and there's kids running around and my anxiety is like through the roof it's just I hate going to places like that um question number eight piercings baby ears do or don't I say do um my ears were pierced when I was a baby um, my mom's ears were pierced when she was a baby so I naturally got Tiana's ears pierced when she's about two or three months um I am for it for girls because 
I don't remember getting my ears pierced, so I don't remember any pain. It didn't scar me for life. I'm glad I got my ears pierced when I was a baby. And I know a lot of people that waited to get their little girl's ears pierced, and because they were aware of them, they would take them out or pull them out, or I didn't want to have to deal with that. And Tiana has her ears pierced. She's fine. She has, you know, you clean them just like anything else, and she hasn't had any problems with them. Uh, number nine is must-have mommy makeup item. My must-have mommy makeup item is my Sephora concealer. Um, it's the eight hour pro concealer or something like that and that stuff when you are a mom you have big old bags of tired sleepless nights so you just dab on that concealer real quick and you look like super mom and nobody will know the difference question number 10 bath or shower for you and your children um of course me and brian take showers um every now and then like if i'm once to relax, I'll take a nice bubble bath with some wine and some candles and some aromatherapy in the tub and all that good stuff. But I'll even take a shower after that because I just feel funny about just sitting in my own bath water. So I'll still take a shower. But Jason, he's at the age now where he takes a shower too. Every now and then we'll take him a bath with his sissy, but uh, most of the time he takes a shower. And of course, I take Tiana's baths. Uh, question number 11, college dreams. Do you expect them to go to college or are you going to let them decide for themselves? We are definitely going to let the kids decide for themselves. Um, we feel like there's no right or wrong way to go. It just depends on what they want to do. If there's something that they want to do where they need that college education, then we are all for it. If they find that they're interested in something else that they don't need a college education for, we're all for that as well. Um, you can be successful either way. For example, Brian has a great successful job. Um, he went to college after he got out of the Navy and he has his bachelor's and he's currently working on his master's degree doing well. I went to college for a little bit, it was not for me, so um, I did not finish, I'm a college dropout, but um, I have had a successful job, uh, many successful jobs, but it um, just depends on what you want to do. So if um, they want to go to college or if they don't, it's, it's all up to them, it's their life in the, in, you know, in the end. Um, question 12, what is one show your child loves but you hate? I would say Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I hate that show, but when it comes on, the kids are glued to the TV. So I guess I kind of love it because it gives them something to watch to get out of my hair for a little bit. But And it's educational. It's just so repetitive. So repetitive. Okay, um, question number 13. Finish this sentence. You know you're a mom when you have poop on a part of your body that's not your poop um a little while ago um i was changing tiana and i thought i had her all cleaned up and nice and i looked and i had poop between my fingers and all of my forearm i thought i was disgusting and baby poop normally doesn't bother me but now that she's eating table food it's mm -mm, it's a hot stank mess question number 14 are you a stay-at-home mom or a working mom so you guys all know that I was a working mom I was working in a great business I was working in technology I was a service director and um, we just decided that it would be better for me to stay at home because I wanted to be with the kids and so now I'm a stay-at-home mom and the next question is just um, question 15 so follow-up for that is like would you have it any other way and honestly I love being a working mom I love being a stay-at-home mom Right now, I love being a stay-at-home mom a little bit better than a working mom, just simply because I feel like my kids are so little, so I really get to bond and be there with them for a lot of things, especially with Tiana. I missed out on so many milestones that Jason, you know, was reaching when he was a baby because I had to go right back to work after I had him. So it's really nice to be able to, to stay home with them and see them grow and just be a part of their lives like I really, really want to be. Um, question 16 is name one thing you bought before you had your baby that you never ended up using that would be probably Tiana's um, changing table I didn't have a changing table with Jason um, so I was like you know I want to get a changing table with her and I rarely use it but it does change into a dresser so it's not a total waste I'll be able to put her clothes in it when she gets you know a little bit bigger Question number 17, child's favorite food. Jason's favorite food is chicken nuggets. He likes chicken nuggets, he likes corn dogs and french fries. Like, 
that's his staples. He also loves fish. He really, really likes fish. So that's pretty good because a lot of kids don't like the way fish tastes. He likes tilapia and salmon and catfish. He likes any kind of fish. Um, Tiana, anything that she can put in her mouth without choking, or even if she chokes, as long as she can swallow it, she loves. She loves all kinds of food and she eats all kinds of food. She's like basically strictly on table food. She doesn't eat any baby food. Let's see, uh, question number 18, a fun question. Weight gain before pregnancy, during, after, and now. With Jason, I gained about 50 pounds and I, I was able to lose it. It took about a good year after he was born for me to start losing the weight. Um, with Tiana, I gained about 20, 20 to 25 pounds, so I really didn't gain that much with her. But I've been having the hardest time losing that extra weight. But you guys know I've been eating better and I've been exercising a lot more. So hopefully before my 26th birthday in November, I will be back to my pre-pregnancy weight. Uh, question number 19 is finish this sentence. It makes my heart melt to see. I would say it makes my heart melt to see the kids playing together. Um, I always wanted a sibling for Jason. I grew up with a sibling. My husband grew up with a sibling. And you just have that that bond with them. And I really wanted Jason to have that. So when I see them playing together, they are like the best of friends. And it's just the cutest thing. And it really, really melts my heart. And the last question, question number 20, the best part about being a mom. I would say the best part for me is everything. Um, you created these individuals who you're responsible for their life and responsible for molding them into responsible adults and go out into the world and be you know productive citizens and just getting to see something that you made grow and develop and learn and succeed and fail and just be there for everything with them like it's the best feeling in the world and I would not trade it for anything. Well, I hope you guys liked my mommy tag. If you would like to do this mommy tag, go ahead. I'm gonna put the questions below in the description box. Make sure you guys like, thumbs up this video. Make sure you are subscribed to our vlog channel and I will see you guys later. Kisses from the missus.